this one, I have to admit, was shocking. And that's why I'm going to talk about it and give my opinion. Let's go with it. Hey, everybody. What's up? This is your girl, Miss Ann Little Cole, and I'm coming to you live on this beautiful Sunday afternoon in NYC Harlem. So for everybody I know, particularly in the black community, are fully aware of the allegations of Paul Mooney molesting Richard Pryor's son, Richard Pryor Jr. Now, this bodyguard that has come forward named Rashawn Khan, he gave an interview with Comedy Hype. Now, I found this out, this interview out on Lipstick Alley. So they posted it and they said that Richard Pryor and Paul Mooney had a fallen out in 1986 because Richard Pryor found out that Paul Mooney had f his son. That's what he said. Now, he also gave interesting tidbits about how Paul Mooney was sent home during the taping of Jojo Jansa, Your Life is Calling. Also, it was noted that Paul Moon, that according to, to Rashawn Khan, Richard Pryor wanted Paul, wanted Rashawn Khan to kill Rich, to kill Paul Mooney on the intent of giving him ten, $1 million by putting a bounty on his head. He even asked him, do you know anybody that could kill Paul Mooney? He was like, no. I don't know. I don't, I'm not in that service. I'm just a bodyguard. So he said, what stopped the the hit was Richard Pryor set himself on fire and that the relationship was strained from that point on. He also gave allegations that Richard Paul Mooney never wrote for Richard Pryor. It was separate. Um, also, Richard Pryor's wife came out and said it was true, but Richard Pryor Jr. has alluded that, you know, it happened as a teenager and, you know, it. how can it be a relationship when it's not consensual because I'm a teenager? So how can having sex with an adult as a teenager be consensual? But he has never really stated that it was Paul Mooney, but he has admitted like he was molested. Now, I'm going to keep it real. I have a lot of criticism with this, and I'm going to tell you why. Number one, Rashawn Khan has gaffed at a couple of things. The timeline does not add up. Richard Pryor set himself on fire on June the 9th of 1980. Okay? So that's another thing. Number two, JoJo Jansa, Your Life is Calling, was filmed in 1986. 1985, 1986. By that time, Richard Pryor Jr. was an adult. Number three, how can you say they had a falling out and they were never friends, but there's photos of him still around Richard Pryor all the way up until the 2000s. By that time, Richard Pryor wasn't really speaking well. So this timeline is not, doesn't really, isn't accurate. And number four, the big kahuna is that this man is coming out with a book. Number five the thing is the bouncy about putting a head out on Paul Mooney. So I'm going to say things. This man was speaking in code. This man was basically alluding to the fact that basically the powers that be, I'm not saying they want him dead, but what it is that they want to soil his name. I think he's an agent that was sent to basically take, tell this whole story. Now, do I think Paul Mooney is gay? More than likely, yes. Do I think Paul Moon's a molester? I don't know. But what I do know is that something's not adding up. The milk ain't cleaning all of this. The only per person I trust in this is R Richard Pryor Jr. I have to also say the person that is the victim is Richard Pryor Jr. Not just because he was molested, but the simple fact that his privacy has now been broken. Richard Pryor Jr. basically was living his own life. And now this thing is coming out and he can't even pretty much, you know, 
he something that was a secret is now something that's out on the forefront. And that's really sad. And so this Rashawn Khan person, I don't really trust him. I'm not saying that Richard Pryor is, I mean, Paul Mooney is innocent of it. But Paul Mooney has denied that it happened. So we're going to keep a close eye on this story because this is going to be hot. And just sit back because there's probably more to come. Thank you for listening. Have a good night.